I'll always mention a snake eating its own tail and I'm gonna give you one of those right now. And that's probably what I'm gonna call one of the segments of these conversations I have with you, the audience, the internet. All right, so when, when I didn't want to have to hire anybody, so I literally made it an, a, like part of my mantra that I didn't want to have, if I wanted to find out how to do something automatically without hiring another person. And, and that is a challenge for sure, especially if that's a 10 year ago challenge, which is what I, I tried to do 10 years ago, which I have kept 10 years ago. Partnerships, yes. Partnerships are great because like, that's where you say, I am not the person that knows this the most. You, you know this, you're the expert and I consider you an expert. So let's share, you know, our resources to um, solve a problem. I love that. That's like a digital contractor, right? And so in like the perspectives that I have, that I set up for myself and then started to follow these paths, I learned a lot. You have to really push your metal. You got to really push your metal not to have to hire people. You got to learn every angle and every parameter of software so that it can actually function like a person when it's supposed to deliver. But it's possible and I've done it. And I can tell you that where the uh, snake eating its own tail comes in is that that frees up time for me. And then because I like to consider myself an information collector, well, then I look at all the data, like a, like a hobbyist, right? Like, so I get to see where all the reds are and the greens are if you wanna be a profit machine. And then I get to look at what brand really means, what the internal culture of my business means, even though it's like me and some partners, right? And that's what happens when it, like what happens when that happens is like magic because you, I have a perfect storm of information and it's all dedicated to a profit, profitable business model while not burning myself out and having time to, you know, f figure out things inside the data, my data. And it's amazing because like, I think a lot of people could do that. I think a lot of people could really get right down and dirty, but maybe that's not their thing. That's not their forte, right? So they don't look at all the data the way that I would. And then what I did was I took that and advertised these solutions out to my customers in my business. And I said to myself, the, the, these are things that will equal energy saving, time saving, less employee legwork, and also like, the biggest one, which is how you feel daily, right? And the world caught up to my idea. And what I mean by that is that people are really concerned with how they are humanly in their business these days, not just get the job done and make money doing it. There is a, and, and you know, there is a major new attitude out there and it is how you feel daily doing things. And so if I can say that one thing that automation gives a business owner is it gives them like data collection through software packages, not through people. So you don't have to ask them for anything. It's just there in a dashboard. And then you can look at it yourself and make judgment calls and you know predictions and projections yourself in a business while you're still running that business. So you can feel better because what you could see real time how things are operating and then you don't have to spend a lot of time crunching it later. And I feel like that's the, the special sauce now and like I can go into things that I never heard in my life before until the, you know, recently in the past few years, maybe three years, like self demotion, like that's a thing. People, and that's an example, people that are offered senior positions in the whatever corporate system they're in, uh, because it means more time spent at the office, it, it means more money. And sometimes it could be 50 to hundred thousand dollars more to go from a junior to a senior position. But there now there's like a gap between junior to senior positions because people are young enough to understand that time is more important than money. 
And so they'll, they'll self demote themselves if they can work remotely and maybe travel more, be more with their family and not just look at it from a money perspective. That's real. So if that's real and you're an entrepreneur and you own a business and people are doing that in a corporate, a large corporate structure, imagine, like just think why they're doing that. They're doing that because they're mortal and they know that like, you know, even though you might be able to graduate your system with, you know, a good savings and, you know, like no debt and your house is paid for and you're 60 or 55 or whatever it is, probably gonna be longer because a lot of people like to, to work longer. Not necessarily because they have to, but just because if they didn't, they have nothing else to do. And so they work a little bit longer. Now, imagine if I was to tell you that I'm 40 and I've known this for like 20 years, like, but I just didn't know what it was. And then as I progress now through 20 years, you know, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, now I'm applying it to myself. And so if I am like internally processing this and I see what people are doing now and they're coming like, you know, the Venn diagram is making itself. And in the middle, like it really is this mortality complex where people are more interested in how they spend their life than anything else. So if you could figure out how to profit the same or more by applying modern method so that you can have more time to like do the things you want to do and hopefully in some of that is become a better leader as well because I think that the best leaders are the ones that get it and they understand what they're doing with their free time. And if you're that person, well now you have like the, like the world is your oyster and you can also get to, you know, get to participate every single day in your, in your business life and you won't be an asshole because that's what I think the main thing is that people don't realize is that they're already burnt out and they're not even close to finishing. Like they have so many more years to go and they haven't changed anything and the, and if, and now I'm trying to tell people that that, you know, energy transfer is how you feel while you work so that you get something else out of it other than just money. That right there is like the whole thing. So this is going to be a conversation and this is day two.